Okay, I hope you're ready for the hottest, most lurid, sexiest video of all the picture postcard workflow series. This one is so hot that it was banned by the beta readers. They said, you just can't put something like that in print. It's just too provocative. You're going to have to do it by video. Well, actually, that's not quite what they said. What they said was in print, it's the most boring thing since the invention of color management. It has to be seen to be understood. So we pulled a dozen pages out of the book that had already been written, and we posted them as PDF if you'd like to, to read them. But the demonstration that I'm about to give you, I think, is more valuable, and so do the beta readers think that it's more valuable than trying to read what I was what I'm doing. Okay. One of the precepts of the picture postcard workflow is if you have time, if a picture is important and you want to spend extra time on it, don't love every detail to death. Just do a quick version and then do another quick version and then see if you can blend them. And if there's more time than that, do another quick version after that and another one after that. Um, by doing this, you're likely to come up with pictures with different strengths and weaknesses that can be blended together to maximize quality. In real life, if you're doing that, you should go out of your way to do things slightly differently each time because that will give different, definitely different results. And what's the worst thing that can happen? Well, you have to throw away one of your versions, leaving you some good ones. But you may wind up with something that looks better than others in the highlight area, and another one that looks better in the shadows, and another one that has better colors in the midtones, and so on and so on. And you can blend them together and get something really nice. Now, what I'm going to show here is a really weird once in a lifetime kind of situation where I happen to have eight different versions of, of the picture. Um, the reason I have eight different versions is not that I intended to blend them together. It's because I was using this particular image on a world tour where I was trying to demonstrate the picture postcard workflow. So I was essentially trying to do it the same way each time. Of course, uh, the workflow is kind of volatile, so you never do get it to be the same each time, particularly in view of certain circumstances, which I can will describe as I go through the versions. But anyway, I've got the original and I've got eight different versions. Let me show you what they are and then we'll try and make one good version out of them. Okay, this is a picture of a swan. The original is kind of dark. The swan shows up as being a little bit blue. The water is an interesting green color. Probably we could stand for it to be a bit greener than it is. Make it a little bit more romantic. So whatever. Good picture for the picture postcard workflow. And before I went on my tour in 2010, I did a version of it in my office just to make sure that I could come up with something halfway decent. And there it is. Certainly a lot snappier. Um, the swan is whiter, better color in the water, looks good, and like that. So I take my act to Photoshop World in Orlando the following month, and I come up with this. That's a little bit better, I'd say. I mean, the, 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 the color variation is, is nicer. Uh, now that I look at the first one, it seems a little bit green in this one. So I like this one a little bit better, but all right. Okay, so cross the Atlantic and go to teach a class in Italy and do it again. Hmm, okay, this, this one, that's, that's a little bit obtrusively green. I don't know, I mean, it's still way better than the original. All right, that was the first of two classes in Italy, and then I tried again the following week. Same general approach, yielded a little bit of a yellower result. Swan looks like there's, there's got a little bit more color variation in it. There's a little bit more purple. All right, not too bad. Then I go back home, okay, and I'm at that point finalizing a new revision of the Man from Mars action that you find in Chapter 6 of this book. And I didn't quite have it down pat just then. I was, I was screwing up neutral colors right and left with it. And here's what I came up with in my office. Uh, so this also is a pretty interesting version of it compared to the original. Uh, Swan winds up a little bit purple in this one. Uh, the watercolor isn't too bad. Everything's cool. Okay, so now off to South America and in Lima, Peru. Um, this is what I come up with. Ick. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's still okay b uh, based on the original. It's a little bit lighter than almost anything else I've done. It's also a little bit yellower. But the swan is a nice color, nice uniform white. Okay, off to Ecuador. 
alcohol uh, consumption at uh, an altitude of, of uh, 3,000 meters or 10,000 feet, not a good idea, I can tell you that. Um, so with a big hangover the next day, I had to do this version. Um, and uh, this one, uh, according to people who have voted on this, this version done in Quito at that altitude with a hangover, with a projector that didn't work and having to tell jokes in a foreign language, this one, and that screen is behind me also, I have to tell you that, that's, this one's the best one of the eight, okay? And the worst two of the eight are the ones that I did in my office under controlled uh, uh, lighting conditions with a good monitor without having to make jokes to the audience, okay? Let that be a lesson to those of you who think that conditions are important. So, okay, this is the best one so far. Okay, then the following week I'm off to Guayaquil and I do this one. And for some reason this one turns out to be the lightest one of the bunch. Okay, it's, it's not bad either. This is, uh, I mean, I think it's too light, but the colors are believable. The bird came out well, blah, blah, blah. So we've got eight versions, all of which are slightly different, and all of which are, are better than the original. What can we do with them? Let's go back from square one. Okay, here's my first version. Pretty bad. All the other seven are better than this one, I think. But okay, here's the second version. Compare the two. First... Second, or I hope you agree the second one's better, but is it better in every single respect? Not really. It's better for color, I think. I see, I see no reason to accept any of this lousy color from this picture. But in terms of contrast, there's a lot to be said for this first one. So what happens if we go color mode here? Taking the contrast of the first, but the color of the second. Well, that's an improvement. Okay, I think that given these brighter colors, maybe it's a little bit too contrasty. So I have the solution for that. I'm going to copy this one. It's in color mode. Now I'm going to change it to luminosity mode, which since I now have a color layer and a luminosity layer, I've gone back to my uh, Photoshop world version. But I'm going to reduce the opacity of this luminosity layer like to 50%. And now it is better. Okay, that's the Photoshop World version, and I say this is a better version than that. That's using all the Photoshop World color, but only half of the contrast. And half of the contrast came from my office. Okay, so now I've got a better version than either of the two. On to Italy. Well, the color's not better. This, this, this color looks, uh, the greens are too blue. So I hate this new color. Do I hate everything about this picture? No, it seems to me that the lighter parts of the swan are pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, since I don't want any of the color, I'm going to change the mode to luminosity. Okay, does this work? Before, after. No, it doesn't really work. But I have a way to make it work, which is I think that this version is better in the light parts than it is in the dark parts. So, layer mask. And I'm going to apply the RGB composite to it. There's before, and there's after, and now it is better. Now it is better. The, and we've unified three different versions to make something better than any of the three. Okay, on to the next Italy one. Hmm. Well, it sure isn't better for detail. There's a lot of color variation in it, though. I'm going to change it to color mode and see what happens. There's before. Hmm, that, I think that makes the picture more interesting. I think it's a little bit overboard, so I'm going to reduce the opacity somewhat. Okay. There's before, there's after, and now it's better again. Every, t every time we've, we've looked at an image, we've found a way to use a part of it to make something better. Okay, back to my office. Oi. That is not so good. Um, except, I wonder if, if it can be used to warm the picture a little bit. Do we see now, maybe, maybe this one's a little bit too cold. I don't see any, any reason to use any of the luminosity of this one, but possibly a little bit of its color just to make the picture warmer. Okay, that's using all of its color. There's what we had before. And there's with the addition of this picture. 
And there's something to be said for it. I'm going to add about half of that color and see what happens. There's before, there's after, and according to me, this is slightly better. I mean, enough that I would, I would keep it. Okay, so next version. Okay, this one, you see I didn't have very good color variation. Uh, it's a little bit more yellow than I would like. Uh, I don't think we want this color at all. So let's go to luminosity mode and see what happens. Interesting. There's before, there's after. Before, after. This one almost is better. It's definitely better in the lighter parts. So another layer mask. Okay, did this work? There's before we did anything, and there's after. And according to me, this is now better. Okay, now we're up to the seventh version. There's the seventh version. There's the sixth. I see nothing in this picture that's going to help things out. There's what we have, and there's the seventh version. I remind you that that seventh version has been voted the best of the eight originals. But by blending the first six, we now have something better than this one. And what we have is this. Okay, finally, um, here's the one from... Uh, the last one, which is the lightest one, and this, this one's hard to evaluate. Okay, here's where we were before we get there. I wonder if we just do like a 50-50 blend and see what happens. We should probably do both a luminosity and a color layer here. But let me just see what happens if we do it 50-50, like that. There's before, there's after. I don't like that so much. Um, how about, how, let's look at color and, and contrast both. Okay, if we just use the color from this version, does it improve the original? Maybe a hair, because I see it's, it's got the beak a little bit better. So I'm going to use some of this color. Like that. Now I'm going to go back to luminosity and see if that works. This one may be better in the light parts than the dark parts, so I'll try a layer mask again. There's before, there's after. That's maybe too strong of an effect for me, so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll try something like this. Okay, And that can be my final version. Better than any of the eight by quite a bit. And for sure, better than the original. So it is a pretty fast process that we have these various versions available. And it's quite rewarding because I think you can see that there isn't really any way that you can do one version that's going to be as good as a multiple version because each of these eight versions that I did, each one was defective in a certain respect. Like the first one that I did, I certainly wasn't trying to make it too green, but I did. And a couple of the others I made that same mistake. Once I've made that initial misjudgment, no matter how careful I am with the sharpening and whatever that I do later, I can't make up for the mistake. But by blending versions that will have different strengths and different weaknesses, I can come up with something really nice that doesn't have an apparent problem with it, like this one. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration, and I hope you will agree with the beta readers that it probably works out better in a live performance than it does in print.